Hi there, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this Cert Mike Explains video, we're going to talk about honeypots, honey files, honey tokens, and DNS sinkholes. Cybersecurity analysts play a cat and mouse game with attackers, seeking to prevent them from gaining unauthorized access to networks. Deception technologies can be powerful tools in this battle, allowing analysts to get one step ahead of the attackers. Let's take a look at a few common deception technologies. Cybersecurity analysts use a wide variety of security monitoring systems to detect unauthorized activity on networks, systems, and applications. However, it can often be difficult to tell the difference between legitimate traffic and activity that's part of an attack. Darknets are designed to assist with making this distinction. Administrators can set aside portions of their normal IP address space for use as a darknet. No legitimate systems use those addresses, so therefore, if a monitoring system detects any activity headed to those addresses, it's very likely that that's an attacker performing network reconnaissance or a misconfigured system. In either case, activity to a darknet warrants further investigation. Honey tokens are fake records inserted into databases or file systems to detect malicious activity. For example, a database might include a fake email address that routes to the organization's SOC. Emails sent to that address presumably come from someone who has gained access to the database. Honey files are files that are specifically created to resemble sensitive data, but instead contain garbage data or intentional misinformation. I'll show you some more deception technologies, but before we get into those, I want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next cybersecurity certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this Cert Mike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new videos as they come out. Honeypots go a step further than honey files. These are actual systems placed on a network with the purpose of intentionally attracting attackers. They may have names that indicate that they contain sensitive information or would be helpful to an attacker, and may even contain files with fake sensitive data. In reality, the honeypots are carefully monitored and instrumented traps for attackers. The honeypot is configured to fool an attacker into thinking that they've compromised a sensitive system, but the honeypot immediately alerts administrators and may trigger an immediate security response. They send fake telemetry to the attacker and real telemetry to the security team. Honeynets are large-scale deployments of multiple honeypots on the same network. One last deception technique used by cybersecurity analysts is the DNS sinkhole. When systems are compromised by malware and joined to a botnet, they're configured with the server names of command and control servers that they contact to receive future instructions. When security analysts identify these command and control servers, they may create DNS sinkholes for those addresses. To do this, they feed false information to their own DNS servers, telling the server that it's authoritative for the malicious domain and rerouting traffic heading to the command and control server to the address of a web server that warns users that their systems have been compromised. This activity is also logged for administrators who can then intervene to clean up the infected system. When you think about it, DNS sinkholes are basically the same thing as a DNS poisoning attack, except in this case, security professionals are waging the attack against their own users to prevent their systems from carrying out botnet instructions. I hope this video helped you better understand these important deception technologies. If it did, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more IT certification content.